Oops. I'm so sad. Oh, I'm sorry. She left me for a postman. She married a postman. Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Come on. And we're live. Welcome back to part 54 of the full game playthrough and commentary. Arthur was trying to line up a horse jump here, but the horse had a different idea. I'm your friendly neighborhood Super Antonio and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. My wife claims a ghost been stealing our milk, but I reckon it's one of them no good. Okay, I guess today's horse challenge is to extricate ourselves from this situation without knocking anyone over and catching a bounty. Hey friend. Good morning to you. Hi there. Hey, hey move it! Good morning. Told Just what has gotten into you? Hello, gentlemen. Bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. What's the issue here? Good morning to you. Morning. Good morning, sir. What is wrong with you? How are you, ma'am? Good morning, sir. Recall how the last time we saw Algernon, he gave us another list. Oh, money, dear boy, I don't give a fig for money. Here, here, take this money. Money is beneath me. This? It's quite a bit. Enjoy it. Uh, spend it on love, on beauty, on amore. Sure. Now, Tacitus, I need more orchids. Here, here's the list. These are very rare. I plan to declare mm. my love like a god. Mm. In flowers, in beauty. Oh, all my life, the times we shall spend by the lake in Lombardy. Oh, Tacitus. Well, uh... It sounds... Divine. <clears throat> it sounds... Divine. Well, well. Yes, indeed. A list of demands sounds too harsh. Let's call this a list of requests. Algernon requires... Five clamshell orchids. Five dragon's mouth orchids. Five queen's orchids and ten sparrow's egg orchids. Okay, and we don't need Madame Nazar to tell us that we have more flower picking in our future. Let's get started. Also, did you like how I threw in that Red Dead Online reference there? I like that Red Dead Online reference I threw in there. Clamshell orchids are located in the swamps close to Shady Bell. There's a weapon in that boat. However, we need to get the orchid first. Whoa, geez. Arthur needs five, and he will show you one. And the map. Pretend Arthur did that four more times. A comprehensive and exhaustive Exotics Quest video is forthcoming. Stay, girl. Hey, girl. Hold up. And what have we here? Here is the broken pirate sword. Technically, a cutlass. Let's go into photo mode so we can get a closer look at the brass engraving. And the skeleton, partially devoured by alligators, one could assume. Was he the owner of this sword, or did he fall victim to this sword? 
It is a Red Dead mystery. This looks good, so much more elegant than the machete. Heron over here. Arthur thought he was an egret for a second. And your map, northeast of Shady Bell on the way to town. And as long as we're in the neighborhood, we might as well check out this corpse. Note the withered arm. <laughs> Arthur will inspect and write, stumbled across a corpse in the swamp. Poor guy had a withered arm. And here is our exact location. Recall Archibald, Sheriff Gray's deputy in Rhodes way back in Chapter 3. Didn't he mention having an uncle with one tiny arm? Yep. Let's move on. Draken's mouth orchids are up north all around O'Cray's Run and Moonstone Pond. Again, Algernon needs five and Arthur will show you one. And here is our exact location. Moving on. Yep. Queen's orchids are back in the swamp and there is one on this island near Le Gras. The bad news is this area is patrolled by gators. The good news is, well, there's really no good news. You just have to be cautious. Thought we could take the horse, but she wants nothing to do with it. We'll need to move this three-star gator along before we can proceed. Here you go. And here is the map. Gator eggs on this island if you need them.
Now the tricky part is getting back without becoming somebody's second breakfast. That gator surprised Arthur, however, we do need some big game meat, so win-win. What happened to our horse? Nice. Let's move on. Yeah. And finally, we need 10 Sparrow's Egg Orchids, which are up and down the Kamasa River in Roanoke Ridge. And your map. Pretend Arthur did that nine more times, and let's get back to town. Hey, partner! I won't say this wasn't the most annoying and grueling stranger request in the game. However, after all of this time, Arthur is going to miss Algernon. The moment is bittersweet. Let's go say farewell. Oh, there you are. I uh, got you those orchids. And it looks like Algernon is distraught. I don't need them anymore. Why? What happened? Arthur asks how he is out of politeness, however you just know he doesn't want to get into it. It's the Contessa. She's, uh... She's married another? I'm, s I'm so sad. Oh, well, I'm sorry. She left me for a oh. postman. I love this moment. Look how awkward Arthur is here, but he's still supportive. Imagine Arthur's discomfort. I mean, if Arthur has difficulty sharing his feelings with John or Hosea or Dutch or Mary or Sadie, actual people he loves, this moment has to be ten times more uncomfortable for him. Let's see that again. She left me for a postman! <laughs> she married a postman! <laughs> I mean, it's... She's... she's a countess and a postman. I mean, the shame of it. I, I mean, if it was a prince, I could have coped with it, but a, a postman? Life is extremely challenging at times. Tacitus, I want you to kill me. Huh? I, I have a gun. <clears throat> Quite a gun. These are Tahitian pearls. Oh, Tahiti? Tahitian Pearls, quite possibly the fanciest gun in the game, and a perfect weapon for the discerning Sandini gentleman. Have you been? Nearly, but I guess we never made it. It's not for people like us, Tacitus. 
Please, just kill me. What? No. Then give me the gun. <laughs> Calm down. I think it best for both of us if I keep the gun. I'm so ashamed, Tacitus. <sighs> don't worry about it. Sheesh. Really don't think Algernon was serious here, but Arthur isn't going to take any chances. Now I'll have to go to Baltimore to see my awful sister. Not to let God to smell the gardenias. I'm not <sighs> sure what to tell you. Here's your payment for the orchids. Thank you. I'm too old for love, Tacitus. Too old to live without it. Well, wise words. But art will see me through, Tacitus. Surely it shall. Ah, here. I promised you I'd make something. I have your hat. <sighs> Pretend to like it. I couldn't have another rejection. Not now. It's wonderful. And note the emotion and gratitude in Arthur's voice. He was really touched, and it was very nice of Algernon to make us a hat. He didn't have to do that. You take care, Algernon. Goodbye, Tacitus. Think of me fondly. A couple C notes, a fancy hat, and also a free matching revolver. Not bad for a day's work. Buenos dias. Mister? Bonjour. Sometimes the new hat is stored on the horse, but it looks like we'll have to check our wardrobe back home. And here is how Arthur looks in his newest and fanciest hat. I think we'll have to make an outfit entitled The Fancy Saint Denis Gentleman. And back at Algernon's shop. I thought we could take some photos here. And here's a better look at Algernon's revolver. Not the greatest of stats, but so pretty. This gun perfectly matches Algernon's shop. Note the short barrel so Algernon can carry it in his pocket without messing up the tailoring and fine lines of his jacket. This might be a nice photo op next to this corset. We shall put this on the Instagram, link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the new merch store, my second gaming channel, and our Discord. Also note the curved stained glass skylights. Algernon had exquisite taste. Arthur will miss him. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Well, the Countess married a postman. Imagine the ignominy, the humiliation. I'm sorry, Algernon, I don't know what to say. Love stinks. However, Algernon seems to be a man of wealth and taste, to paraphrase Mick Jagger. I'm sure he'll bounce back and meet another Countess. Or perhaps he would be happier meeting a postman of his very own. Just a suggestion. I'll see you in part 55. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy?